It's Christmas Day and it's beginning to look a lot like eggnog. Merry Christmas, food geeks. And if you're watching this on the day that it comes out, thank you so much. I'm sure you have better things to do than watch this on Christmas Day. But this is a real quick recipe. Well, minus the, the refrigeration part. It's a real quick recipe for a delicious and very traditional Christmas treat eggnog you can have it with a little bit of rum which is what we're going to do or you can have it without you can make it into a latte you can do whatever you want with it so let's get cracking and by cracking i mean separate some eggs okay so we need four egg yolks and four egg whites i am going to save the egg whites i tried not to break the yolks but i messed up and did break one there we go four egg yolks and four egg whites all right, I've transferred those to our regular stand mixer. We're gonna add one third cup of sugar, and then we're gonna beat the living daylights out of them until it's light and fluffy. While we're doing that, we're gonna put some milk on to boil. All right, kind of a boring shot, but this is what you're getting. One pint of milk, you can use regular or 1% or non-fat. I'm using 1%. We put that in and we bring that to a heavy simmer. All right, back to the egg yolks. Well, this is Lee from the future. I'm just editing this video and I notice that the next shot is completely out of focus. So my apologies. I promise I'll do better next time. And now we're going to what they call temper the eggs. And we do that by adding just a little bit of the milk because we don't want to we don't want to boil the uh, or we don't want to curdle the eggs so i'm going to mix that in by doing this the eggs will become acclimatized to the heat of the milk there we go and now we add this to the pan. All right, let's add that to the pan. Make sure we get it all. <coughs> and then we simply bring that to 160 degrees centigrade just to cook the eggs. If you are using pasteurized eggs, you don't need to do this bit. It's also at this point, we add our seasonings. I say seasonings, there are more spices. And we're going to put in a half a teaspoon or more, depending on your, your taste, of ground cinnamon. And a teaspoon of nutmeg, which you can do um, fresh. Or in my case, I couldn't find fresh, so I'm doing dry. Smells so good. We're also going to put a little vanilla in. We're going to do that once this has come to temperature. It's also at this point, once it's reached temperature, you could strain it to get all these little bits out. I, on the other hand, am not going to do that. All right, to speed things up, I transferred it to another bowl. We're popping that in the fridge. And we'll be back. And that's done. In the meantime, let's go with some egg whites. This next step is optional. You do not have to do this. You can basically skip ahead to where we add the heavy cream, whisk that up, you're good to go. Or you can add the egg whites, which is what we're going to do because it's going to make it light and delicious. All right, we've reached soft peaks and we're gonna mix in one tablespoon of sugar while this continues to mix. And there you go. Stiff peaks. Now, 
we combine the two together. All right, so that's nicely chilled. Let's go ahead and add one cup of heavy cream, whipping cream, whatever it may be called where you are from. And a little splash of vanilla. Now at this point, you can go ahead, you can eat this, you can drink it, you can bathe in it if you really want it. But we have the egg whites. So we are going to fold in the egg whites just a little bit at a time. It would be easier in a bigger bowl. But my plan is mix the egg whites here a little bit and then put it in the big one to finish mixing them. So kind of, kind of whisk that like that, just to get them mixed. And now I'm going to add this into here. Where's my big whisk? There we go. I'm gonna kind of whisk this in there. So let me, There we go. Pour that back into there. And mix all this together to get it light and frothy. Oh, it smells good. So this, there we go. I know I've knocked a lot of air out, but it's all right. I want it smooth. There we go. So this is going to go back into the fridge for about an hour. So do this before you start getting ready for your party. And then we'll taste it. And there you go. Nicely cold, delicious eggnog. I'll be honest, I've never made this before, so it could suck. But if you make it before your party, it's going to be ready to go. Thank you again for joining us on this lovely Christmas morning. Um, I did throw a little bit of brandy in because it's traditional. If you enjoyed this video and you made it this far, you are fantastic. Thank you so much for being one of my Food Geek fans. Um, if you're not already subscribed, click the button below. You can like, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. But do it another day because today's Christmas. But let's have a little taste of this delicious, fingers crossed, eggnog. Oh my. That's rather good. That is really light and fluffy. That little kick of, brand, of uh, rum in there. Could be brandy, you could do bourbon. You can taste the cinnamon and the nutmeg. Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna let you enjoy your Christmas because Christian's gonna come down and unwrap her presents. If I'm lucky. So until next time, take care, Food Geeks. We'll see you soon and Merry Christmas.